Hey everyone, and welcome to or welcome back to Nora's Cove. If you're new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist, and I like to get my life together by budgeting, planning my finances, and planning my life minimally and functionally. With all that said, if you feel so inclined to, make sure that you hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, and leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know that you are new here. Let's get into today's video, you guys. Okay, y'all. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I am discussing my debt, my debt journey. I am starting my debt journey. Um, I've started it, but I wasn't consistent. I was going to do a just a face front video of this, but today has to date, okay? And I did a soft launch of something that I'm going to show you later of how I plan to get debt free. So I've been busy in the office all day. Nonetheless, let's just get into it. Um, I'm just going to give you a brief story on my debt. Um, things were going pretty good pre-COVID. And then when COVID hit, um, I had just been paying all my bills one time, thankfully for that, because when COVID hit, um, those people that I was doing business with and paying bills on time, um, i.e. my car note, T-Mobile, things like that, um, they allowed me to skip months. And then luckily I had the help of my mother and my husband, my sister, and just family. Well, fast forward, we got out of COVID and I'm going back to paying things on time, but my business is slow. My business is still trying to recover from COVID. Um, and when I think it has recovered, it doesn't. I'll have a good week here. I'll have a slow week here, which you've probably seen in some videos on my channel. Well, I can't put it all on COVID. I have to put it on myself that I just was not consistent. Um, I am a spender. I've recognized that about myself. Um, I love to shop. I love all things beauty, all things planners. And when I would have a good week, I would just think, oh, it's going to be like this forever. And I would spend. And then the next week, I'm looking crazy. Well, what happened, let me just kind of fast forward a little bit so we, I don't make this video too long. Last week was one of those weeks. Here in the DMV, it snowed. And for as long as I've been a hairstylist, I know January is a slow month. That's one. Two, it tends to snow here in the DMV in January and February. I did not take that into account. But for many years, I said that I would be prepared for these months. And I'm never prepared. So I'm always scraping to come up with my boots, brand, bills. And I've just fallen behind on everything. And it wasn't just like last week, everything just hit because I didn't work a day or two. Um, it was just accumulation of things. And I try to make sure that my business, which my other business is Norris Cove, as most of you know, that I don't touch that money because I know if it mingles with my regular money, it would be worse, okay? It would just be totally worse. My hair income is just not incoming anymore. Now, like I said, I had an epiphany last week or just a, um, as I was telling my financial live accountability group that I was in a low vibration era. You know, I just was in my low vibration point. I was just at the bottom and I was like, I'm so tired of this. Like, as they say, once you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you'll do something about it. And that's where I was. And I said, I just set out a prayer. I said, Lord. I can't do it no more. I'm tired. I don't like this feeling. I don't like the feeling of not having my bill money. I don't like the feeling of bill collectors calling me. What can I do? I want to be debt free. I want to get out of debt. I'm tired of this cycle. I know my next week is supposed to be a good week. And when it is, I'm going to put money aside. And I did that. And you all saw that I did the cash stuffing. I felt good about it. I still haven't touched the majority of it. I kind of used the envelopes as I was supposed to use them. But I got to thinking, and I'm a type person, if you don't know, I like to strategize. I like to, you know, list tasks or break things down in um, ways that I can accomplish them, needless to say. But with all that being said, I sat down, and it took me about three days to do this. So I'm going through my personal planner, which I still have not set up for 2024. But I was at work, and I just had my planner with me. Um, I have that planned, and I just sat there, and yeah, 
I sat there and I wrote down all, this is at work, I wrote down all of my bills, all of my debt, um, the total, the minimum amount, and the interest rate. You guys, let me tell you something if you don't know something. <laughs> I was telling somebody when I sign up for credit cards, I'm not paying over 25%. I'm not paying a yearly fee. I only have one card on here that is a yearly fee. And I knew that getting the card only because I had planned to get the card to go on vacation and pay it off once I got back. Well, I never went on vacation. It never happened. And I started using a card as a business card. All these interest rates are over 25%, except for my car note. That's something else. I never share my car note on here, but I want to be very transparent. So I'm going to share my car note. Um, and I'm going to get into my goal for my car note later. Also, my big problem here is quad pay. This is going to be like my first order of business, along with paying as much as I can extra on these bills. So I wrote all these down so that I can share something else with you. So I'm going to move this out the way. So this is my budget planner. Um, if you are new here... So what I did was I said, okay, Lord, help me. I, I need to figure out some ways that I can get rid of this debt. Okay, eating out is a problem for me. So I said, okay, I need to stop eating out so much or altogether. You know, I'm sure I could save a lot of money that way. I need to sell some things in my house. I may need to go back to Instacarting. Um, what else can I do? How can I break these things down so that it doesn't seem so overwhelming? And, and let me add that this is the most debt I have ever had. Um, I was saying in my live on Instagram, um, by the way, I do a live financial live every Sunday, sometimes on Wednesday, and we're just hold each other accountable and we talk finances and just try to set each other, set each other up for financial success. I was saying on my live that the most debt that I had ever really been in was like $10,000. And it's always been easy for me to pay off. Like the minimum time limit for me to pay off $10,000 was usually three months. But at that time, I made more money. So now I'm in more debt with less money. I needed a plan. So I created, let me get to it. A debt payoff workbook. I understand that people make these. There's digital copies, digital excuse me, digital copy copies, <laughs> all online, Etsy, all these different places. But none of them really fit my aesthetic, and I like neutral colors. It started with me just creating the breakdown. Okay, the breakdown of how I was going to do things, and then I decided to turn it into a workbook. Let's take it out. I'm going to flip through it really right quick. I don't even have to take it out. So this is the first page. And then this is the introduction. We have a contents page. Weekly intentions, smart goal plans. And I'm gonna go through it. We're gonna go through it because I need to fill this out. Also, I didn't bring my iPad down. God, why did I forget my iPad? I may need to go get my iPad and show you the Google Notes version. And then we have the debt overview. And here's the debt payoff strategy. And then this is how you're going to pay the debt. You're going to put in the account up here, beginning balance, due date, and minimum payment. And over here, once you make a payment, you're going to put the amount, the date that you paid it, and then the remaining balance. And there's plenty of pages of those. And there are two a page front and back. So this is all of those that you get. And then here is our credit score tracker. Um, we had this in a bundle, probably maybe our 22 bundle. And then the starting score, the year score goal, your debt total. And then you're going to each month write in the three reporting agencies of your score. Now, if you can't find one, you can just do the ones that you can find. I use Credit Karma, so I'll probably just use, I think it's Equifax and Experian. And then here, here are some notes to help you build your credit, to improve your credit score. And then you just have a filler page here. And the, all of these are front and back besides this page here. And then this is the debt pay off tracker. And I designed it this way because I'm just, like I said, I wanted it to be kind of my aesthetic. Uh, so what you can do, you're going to write your account here and it is in 10% increments 
and then you would take a highlighter every time you pay 10%, you can put your uh, date that you paid it, and then you can just color in each time. And I was, as I was telling my accountability group is that, you know, because this kind of looks like a peel, you can just kind of go from here to here if you want, if any color, any color that you want, if this is too neutral. And you get a couple of pages of those. Again, you get two per page. Um, I want to say it's like 14. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten. So it's ten pages. Again, two on a page, front and back. And then we have the closing thoughts. And I'll just read this little bit for you. I created this workbook out of a need for my own financial journey. I love strategizing a way to complete tasks. And like many of you, I'm a planner girl. I wanted to make a strategy of how to once and for all get out of debt. My goal is not only get to get myself out of debt, but to bring as many people as I can with me along my journey. I want to free as many people as I can from the burden of debt. My ultimate goal is to live a debt-free life and enjoy the life of my dreams. Thank you for purchasing this workbook, and I hope this workbook becomes a staple along your debt-free journey. And then we have the back cover page. Again, I use five and, uh, five and a half by eight and a half, which is half a letter. These will be available. Once you see this video, they will be listed um, on the website. I also have a uh, Google Notes version, and I'm hopefully going to share that. So let's hop in. But y'all, first, I brought the wine, okay, because got some Prosecco, because I just, like, I need some help, okay? And I got my wine glass here, and it's kind of overwhelming. So I opened this the other day. Not too much. I do have this wine stopper listed on my Amazon as well. So we're gonna sit that there because honey. So let's take a sip before we get into this. Okay, so we're gonna go through this. So the first in the contents, set weekly intentions for your money. How will you tackle your debt? in the coming weeks, smart goals mapping, set your goals and use the smart goals method to achieve them. Set your goals and use the smart goals method to achieve them. Checklist guide. As you complete each step, use the checklist to check off each accomplishment. Uh, page four, debt overview, list each debt, the due date, the amount, minimum payment, interest rate, and balance. Debt payoff strategy. What is your plan of action? Which method will you choose to pay off your debt Snowball or Avalanche, debt payments. As you make your debt payments, be sure to list them in this section. Credit score tracker, keep track of your credit score as you start to pay off your debt. Debt payoff tracker, as you begin to pay off your debt, this track tracker will serve as a visual aid in allowing you to see your progress. Okay, let's get in it. On my good notes version, I kind of started a little bit, but I want to start here. Let's take a little sip. Right there. When I did this before, it says weekly intentions. Having intentions for your money allows you to stay focused and remember the reason you want to become debt free. Make a list of weekly intentions you could do to make sure you stay on track of achieving your financial goal. For me, I'm going to eat out less or none at all. Also, I created a no eating out. Let me get that before I forget. A no spin, a no spin challenge and a no eating out challenge. These are freebies on my website. This is the no spin challenge. This is the no eating out challenge. It comes front and back like that. And then this is the no spin. It does come in letter. You can resize it to your planner, but it is in letter size and just probably decrease the size. So I am doing the no eating out challenge. I've messed up for the day, but it's okay. Eat out less or none at all. I, I want to save 10 to $20 per 
per customer. And put towards my debt. That is how one of the ways I plan to pay down that debt. Now I have some more listed on my Good Notes app again. I will bring that down in a second and show you guys. And then here it says goals. Goals are gentle milestones that guide us toward our dreams, not with urgency, but gentle consistency. On the following page, we will set some smart goals. Okay, next up we have our smart goals plan. Now, on my iPad is listed as like the 29th, 30th, something like that. But we're going to put 212004 because I'm doing this with you guys. What do you want to achieve? I want to be I either sped it up or skip through it and I just want to take my time to really write this out. Um, it may be different on my iPad, but here, um, I want to be able, I want to be debt free. It says, what do you want to achieve? I want to be debt free, able to get things I want and need without worrying, help my family more. How do you know that you have achieved your goal or that you are on the right track? The bill collectors will stop calling. I have money saved. All bills are paid up. What steps do you have to take to accomplish the goal? Less eating out, save every day slash every week. And I'm going to add cash stuff in. What is the goal important to you? How does this impact others? It's important to me because I want to be able to afford to not depend on anyone. I will free others from having to help me. When will you accomplish the goal? What's the timeline? One year to 18 months. That's what I would like for it to be. But honey, I don't know. On the back, here is a checklist. Guide to becoming debt free. Below will be a few checklist items to get you started on your journey. Check them off as you complete each step. Now, I've already written out each debt. It says write down each debt that you owe. You can use the debt overview for the step. We're going to transfer all that over there. Um, total your debt. This is a tough one, but necessary stuff. This is a tough one, tough, but necessary step. Excuse me. Choose a method. Which debt payoff method will you choose? Will you use snowball or avalanche or both? I already know I'll probably be doing both, and I've already kind of chose that. Goals. Use smart goals to help you got. Excuse me. Use smart goals to help guide you to becoming debt free. I've already done that. What day will you pay, uh, set aside, <clears throat> set a day each week or month that you will pay towards your debt? I haven't quite decided, and I want to say Mondays, but I haven't quite decided. So I'm going to leave that empty. Credit score tracker, I'm going to come back to that because I haven't looked at my credit score. I just know it dropped from the high sixes down to the fives. Weekly intentions each week. You should set intentions for your money and your money goals. Use the weekly intentions worksheet for this step. I've done that. Now, if you want to, if you get the digital copy, you can print this page every week if you want to, or these are just going to be my every week things. So that's what that is for. Okay, and then track your progress. We haven't made it that far yet, so we haven't even made a debt. Let's put this back. Now I'm going to write, transfer all of this to here. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I need a drink. <laughs> and here's the thing. I, wish, I want y'all to know, I'm really not a big drinker, a big wine drinker, but uh, yeah, I'm going to need a drink. Let's add this up. I'm going to go through it real briefly and quickly. Capital One, the due date is the 15th. The minimum payment is $48. The interest rate is 29.99%. My balance is $718. Walmart, doing the fourth. Uh, minimum payment, I messed that up, but it's $29. The interest rate is $29.99. I just could not find my whiteout. Now I see it after I've done, but I'll correct that later. And my balance is $79.99.06. Can you know how much my limit is? Everything is to the max, okay? This is on Capital One Limit. It's only 500, okay? It's been over the, it was at 1.3, something dollars, but I've been paying on that. Credit one is due to fifth. The minimum payment is $30. The percentage rate is $29.24. The balance is $442.93. I think we're back at 500. I'll have to check that when I go to do my payments. Community is due on the second is $40. 
the interest rate is thirty dollars and twenty four. I mean, excuse me, thirty point twenty four percent, and the balance is three oh three. They actually closed this, and I didn't know it. And I saw that I had my limit was only five hundred, and I saw I had a little money in there, and I wanted to use it, but I kept getting declined at the store, so I'm embarrassed. And so I'm, I called them. They was like, "Oh, you have to reapply." Of course, they didn't accept me. So. They will be on my first order of business to pay them off after I get rid of these down here. Ulta due on the 17th. The minimum payment is $80 because I, this is a whole situation. I've, this is my second Ulta card. There's it's no excuse, but it's the truth. The old one was due on the 2nd. So I used to pay it on the 2nd. It was being paid on time. Then I realized it was due on the 17th. Well, trying to get into the system... It's like I always get booted out. They say that that's not my correct uh, number, my number. So I've had to call to make payments. And now I don't have it. So they're behind. So uh, the interest rate is 31.24%. And the balance is 511.76. Can you, the, the total is only supposed to be 500, but I'm over. PayPal, due on the 25th, $57, $29.20, um, excuse me, 29.24%. And it's four ninety nine oh two, Navy Federal Credit Union. That is a credit card. It's due on the tenth. It is a twenty dollar minimum payment. They're the lowest, fifteen percent. And my balance is four ninety nine. Yes, my limit is five hundred. Barclays. I made a deal with Barclays. They can basically close the account. I hated this card. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. So, Barclays closed the account, but made a deal with me that they would lower my interest and charge me $50 a month. It should be paid off sometime either by the end of this year or next year, but I'm gonna be throwing them extra money once I get a little you know, further along. The percentage rate is 29.99%. The balance is $2,132.64. The card was only 2,000. Okay, next we have Citibank and here I put the minimum payment at 252. This is pretty much what is behind. The interest rate is 30.49% and my balance is 802.90. I think with this one it is only like $700 limit, so I'm definitely over Alley, which is my car note. I started not to include this because I don't plan to pay this off this year, but you never know. Also, I want to include this because once I get some of this down, my goal for Ally, Ally, which is my car note, is to pay bills on time, refinance through my credit union, get a cheaper uh, financing rate, interest rate, and pay this off before it is to end. So it's due on the 15th. I pay $749 to drive. 15.6% interest, which is fair, is considering everything else, okay? $33,140.04. So next we have Klarna. Klarna is $232, and that is behind a firm. Um, I put 95.34, which is overdue. I have a balance of 285 and then zip. 237.52 so i'm gonna start with these here catching these up then like i said my goal is to hit community ulta and paypal navy federal credit union i'm gonna start on the low end and then i definitely want to add extra to barclays because i want to be done with them walmart capital one where capital one become will come before uh walmart once I'm able to start making payments, I just realized that I didn't give the total on the debt overview. Let me do that now. Jesus be a fence. <laughs> be the lottery, Jesus. What the heck? 
40,600, excuse me, $40,611.86. Mm. And I did not mention that I have student loans. I have a parent plus loan with my daughter. I didn't even add that. But that's the only reason I'm not adding it because it's, some of hers has gotten written off and I have time. So I'll be adding that later. And the, we don't even want to get into it. It's a good... Oh, Jesus. I have my glass. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to insert this into the video. So back to your regular schedule. And the good thing is my soft launch went well. But what I didn't realize... I use let me let me take a sip, y'all, because I'm my nerves is bad. Hold on. What I didn't know was my PayPal was in a negative because I used that to pay for something. Didn't know it didn't clear, and so the soft launch went well. It covered that debt, but and I had a couple of dollars left here. My debt payoff strategy, which is the snowball method and the avalanche, I'm kind of use them together. I'm gonna to do that off camera. And then each time I'm gonna pay on debt, I think I'm gonna do it weekly. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do because here is my binder and I have debt in here, right here. I think if I let this sit, I'll dip into it. But if it's out of sight, out of mind, so each week when I cash stuff this, I'm going to take it back to the bank and let, and pay it or either just use the slip, okay? And I started to take, I do have my car savings and I saved $100 in savings. Y'all see it's here? I ain't touch it. Did not touch it. Haven't even filled out the cards. I started to take all of that and start knocking on some of that quad. Hopefully this week we'll be making a debt payment. Offline, I'm going to do my credit score. As I start to pay down the debt, I'm going to fill out the debt tracker. We'll be doing that together. <sighs> Hopefully, we'll probably be doing the debt tracker. Hopefully, once a month that I can pay off at least 10% of all these things. So, I will fill all this in off camera. By the time you see this video, the printed, I'm going to offer it printed. Right now, the sizes that I have that my accountability group asked for is classic HP, A5, half letter, and mini HP. If you are interested in this and these aren't any of your sizes, oh, it also comes in letter, and these aren't any of your sizes, just leave me a message in the comment section and that way I can create that size for you. Also, we're going to get into the good notes version real quick. One okay, second. this is the good notes version. I'm going to turn off my ring light so it's not distracting, but I do have another soft light here on the side. It comes in this format. You have your cover page, your page after that, which is the introduction, contents, weekly intentions. As you can see, uh, let me zoom in just a little bit. I wrote in no eating out, less unnecessary spending, any new clients put towards debt, any extra put towards debt. And I'm going to use this version. I'm not a digital girl, but I'm going to use this version. Over here, I filled in my smart goals, did my checklist. Here is your debt um, overview, debt payoff strategy. And the good part about the good notes version is you can double the pages. And there's two pages of that. Here we have the debt payments again. And this definitely will be available when you see this video. And then over here, we have the credit score tracker, the debt payoff tracker. And you have your couple of pages of those. And then the closing thoughts page. I always do this. Closing thoughts page and the back cover page. That again is the good notes version. I'm just scrolling through it again because I don't want to go too fast. Y'all, it's a shame, but I don't know how to <laughs> use my good notes. I've used it before, but I'm going to try to do better. 
Oh, as you can see, I did start listing some debt over here. And I've done my little checklist. I filled this in, weekly intentions. And there you have it. Again, this is the Good Notes version. So if you are a digital girl or you have an iPad and you want to try this version as well, it will be available on the site. Again, because um, that items will be printed, there'll be slightly more. These start at $25.99 for the um, digital version, just you printing your own because you're gonna be able to print it for years to come, as long as you need it. The digital version, again, that's gonna be slightly higher because it's a little more detailed and you can print as many copies again as you want. So they'll probably be roughly around the same price. The printed version, again, is gonna be just a little bit more because I have to use paper and all that stuff. And right now we're gonna start with the sizes unless someone, you know, there's a size to be requested and I have to resize and all that grace. That is it for today's video. I'm going to turn the lights on and come so back. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I would love to have you stop in every week, see how I'm doing. Hold me accountable. I am just tired of being sick and tired. And if you feel like I feel, please join me as I conquer this debt and take you guys along with me. I have not ever shared my car note on here. But I wanted to be transparent to let you know, I have debt. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes in my budget all the time. I'm still learning. Even though I love to budget and do finances, I'm still learning. And with you guys' help and us doing this together, I believe that we all can become debt-free. Now, I understand that everybody does not have debt. But if you just like to watch and see how I tackle this, so maybe you can share with a friend and always feel free to share this video. Maybe it will encourage someone. And that is my ultimate goal is to encourage someone. It's time to elevate in life. It's time to free ourselves because honestly, these credit card companies don't want to see us free. They want us to continue to pay these minimum payments and I'm over it. I'm tired of the collection calls. I am over it. So join me each week as I pay off debt. I'm going to be doing cash stuffing. I'm so proud of myself with my cash stuffing, y'all. I was so close this week to like, let me just take all this out of here and start over and just pay some of this debt because the calls was just calling, okay? If you are new here and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I mean, have a drink. Let's toast to wealth, let's toast to new beginnings, and let's get this debt paid off. I hope you will join me in the future of paying off debt. Again, if you enjoyed today's video, you're new here, do me a favor, a huge favor, hit that like button because I want to share this with everyone. I want us to grow our numbers for 2024. I'm also going to set a subscriber goal for this year so that I can tackle this debt. I don't get paid for my videos, even with the amount of subscribers I have. I am not monetized, but that is my goal this year so that I can use that to pay off debt as well. So I hope that you will stick around, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come back for more content. If you're new here, leave me a comment in the comment section, letting me know that you're new here so that me and my other subscribers can welcome you to the Cove. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.